<coughs> right, um, you, I'm running that tool now. Um, to look for bad block. I'm hoping it can fix it as well. Apparently um, the grey ones are slow speed so if it's grey it's less than 20 well the different shades of grey but the darker the colour or if it's green it's it's less than 150 milliseconds if it's orange it's 500 milliseconds if it's red it's more than 500 milliseconds so red is bad anyway uh, oh, bad actually. It says it's blue. Bad's a, z a blue, so... Yeah. So... This is the colour chart. For... The hard drive colourations, which we're seeing on there, like greys. Uh, I assume that that grey on the left there is, is probably less than 50 milliseconds so it does look like this drives pretty tired Looks like a good tool because it, it report it gives you a lot more information than that other scan disk tool does. It was basically marking everything as green except for one item which was red and this one's uh, giving you things in between. I don't see any options at the top for fixing anything. Just does report. Uh. <coughs> 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 I would hope it can fix them though. It's, that's what I was, down, I was trying to download it's something to fix the problem. already erased this thing, I installed it to try it and it's useless so I just don't need to sacrifice more disk space for a tool that doesn't work properly I got some red warnings when it was trying to add stuff to my startup entry and I don't like the startup thing, it just slows everything down. <coughs> I installed this flipping backup tool without my permission because I didn't want a backup tool. So that can disappear. Jesus, there's a lot of bad areas on this drive. The greens are less than 150 milliseconds. I like to bet you the section where the E drive is, I bet you that's really bad. I 
Wat is dat hier? Oasis. Now, I was looking for a tool, now, <coughs> this thing claims to be a free tool, but it's not free at all. was useless. That didn't do anything anyway.
Jesus. Oh my God, this is bad. What? I was expecting one bad block, but I'm getting a whole string of them. Oh my god, this is really bad. I'm only at thirty two percent. What? Fourteen thousand five hundred twenty three bats? What? Yeah, I think if this is if this, if this this is true, if this drive has this many bad sectors, I'm gonna yeah bad blocks. I think it's the driver's just toast. <coughs> <coughs> uh, I'm surprised I can read anything on there.
Attention. Warning Windows is about to shut down. Ugh, well, we don't want that. Warning Windows is shutting down in 30 seconds. Uh, no, it isn't because I'm going to press the A key. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Is my keyboard on? Oh, just kill it. Yeah, well, the, that's because the defrag finished and it's set to automatically do that. Well, <coughs> what the heck is... It says date code on this drive and that's, that's not very informative. Yeah, there's, a, there's probably an online database to find out exactly how old this thing is. Check the data on it. Somehow, I, I, I just don't think that this program is working properly because there's no way that all that's bad. Well, it's running too fast. Normally, it wouldn't. It would wait a bit longer on each block, and it's not. Got stuck at 32 percent by the looks of it. And I'm going to stop the damn thing because I don't trust it. Something not right here. Why is it in part? web page what the heck no that's not it there's a quick report then click on report and it doesn't give me one oh here it is right and this is what I need data information uh, right, so <coughs> appears to have jumped up. One hundred 
well, 100,000, 1000, or 100 million LBA point, that's why it seems to be going bad. Right, okay, at least I've got a start address. Well, yeah, how can, I don't believe that this is all bad. This doesn't make sense because I only had one bad block before. How the hell can I have all this lot now? This is no, this doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'm going to save that report and I'm going to scan it with all the program again. Hmm. This program is slow. Well, if it's low because it's trying to save data on the bad hard drive, then it's a rather stupid program. Have a look. I haven't got any access problems there. on D MHT I want to save it as HTML standard right get rid of that <coughs> this doesn't make any sense to me because I've checked the other drive partitions and all I found was one bad block tool again. Right. Right, service test. I'm going to do this again. All it detected was one bad block. So how the heck can I have all that lot? One of these programs is telling fibs.
Okay, one bad block, that's what I thought. Hmm. <sighs> this program says there's only one bad block, right? But the other program says there's hundreds of them. Mind you, I'm only checking. I'm actually only checking one partition, but I've checked the others and they're fine. They're all green, so I don't know.
Yeah, so one program tells me I've got hundreds of bad blocks and one program says I've only got one bad block, so which do you believe? I just don't know right now. Oh. Hi Alan, uh, I don't know if you're watching me. Um, I'm alive because I'm not sure. Oh, I appear to be. Um, right. So basically, it's not that old. It's it's probably well, maybe three years, maybe two years. I'm not sure exactly, but I replaced it about a couple of years ago. I basically cloned all my data across onto a new hard drive swapped it all out um, because it's a pretty standard it's a 160 gigabyte one um, well you see this this is what doesn't make sense I'm checking it with this mini tool I checked all the partitions C uh, E F G H and the only partition that showed what any errors is drive E which is this one and it's got one block right one block right that's one block the rest of the disk is fine um, I could check I could check the other partitions again but I don't want to waste your time because it just takes a long time but that other program I just used says that there's hundreds of errors hundreds of bad blocks and now it just doesn't make sense now if I go to the, let's check this one surface test let's check this one I mean it's whizzing through. If there was a bad block there it would stall and take a long time, right? Well Well, I just run that other program and it scanned the entire hard drive and it said there was hundreds of bad blocks and I just don't believe it. You know? Ah But luckily I've got more than one but bootable partition. I can boot into three different operating systems. I've Two operating systems are on my solid state drive, and I'm on one of the I'm on the solid state drive right now, actually on the uh, Windows XP. But on the other hard drive, it, the the other solid, Windows XP is actually on that faulty hard drive, and it keeps crashing on me. I keep getting blue screens of death all the time, you know. And it's usually when I'm accessing some files on there, which are obviously in a bad block, but. Um, um, yeah, about two or three years, but it's, as I said, we placed it. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's Russ. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like the look on his face. Um, right, anyway, I'm going to run that other tool again, but it, it, that other tool doesn't allow me to scan individual partitions, which is really annoying. I just want to scan any of it, a, a particular partition and not the whole disk, because I want to I want to find the address, the addresses where the bad blocks are. Well, I found hundreds of blood 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 block. Blood, blood, can't say it. Um, I saved that file in here right now this is what it said now I said that this is the this is the file that we just I'm just opening the file up the report it's in, it should it should have a graph HTML file now this is what it said this other this other program it said um, firmware 5801 D58 uh, I don't know what that one means but um, it said block start at 48 33 28 um, it looks like it's counting the milliseconds of access time because it just went down here and it said bad block bad block bad block because of these because these milliseconds were quite high numbers that must be the reason 
maybe it's got a different criteria for determining bad blocks just because the, it says the bad the point is they're still are they still readable yes they are still readable I, I mean I I would say bad block is a is a is a block which cannot be read at all but these are readable obviously they just it's just marking them as bad even just because they're slow at re being read and this is this thousands of them on this is the pro this is a report right there's thousands of them I mean look at my slide back the top is right up here like um drag it down and I got sick of it so I just cal I just cancelled it I need to let it all run all the way through but it's telling me that blocks are bad just because they're a bit slow being read and that's no good I mean okay some blocks will be slow being read but uh, anyway yeah uh, I don't know how I um, that. right okay I've s the service test for drive F is fine according to this no errors found that was F now. Um, right, well, I need a tool that can fix the bad blocks, right? But I don't want to be fixing blocks which are only slow. I just want to fix unreadable blocks. Now, I'll get out of that again. Let me just go back to this tool. I'm going to run it again. Uh, I'm going to see if it's got. Um, Oh, where's my shortcut gone? Oh, it's here. Right. <sighs> this is the program that's reporting excessive amounts of bad blocks, right? Now, let's go back. Actually, let's let's try it on another hard drive. Let's try it on my... Let's try it on a on a. No, I don't think I want to do my terabyte drive. I'll be waiting for a month. Uh, just a minute. Now I want to try it on something else. Let's try it on. Let's try it on a good hard drive, right? There's nothing wrong with my 500 gigabyte one, the ST3. Let's try it on a good hard drive. Right. So, SD3, that's a healthy hard drive. Now, if this program reports it's got bad sectors, I am going to chuck it in the bin and find another program. Um, See what happens. Show details. Bear in mind, I'm checking a healthy hard drive right now. Yeah, right. Okay, so it's telling me I've got I've got slow bad blocks even on a healthy hard drive. Okay. Yeah, right. I think all hard drives have got slow blocks. You know, every hard drive out there has got some blocks which are a little bit slower than others. It depends on how much time it takes for the head to jump across to, and as well. Physical hard drives are a bit slower than... Right, well, this is... I'm checking a healthy, a healthy hard drive and it's giving me a lot of crap which is basically saying less than uh, 150 milliseconds yeah it looks to me like this program is just overly cautious
you see the trouble is if it's if it's flagging too many sectors as being bad when they're not really bad you can partition out good sections of hard drive without wanting to partition them out all I really want to do is partition out or fix the actual really bad block and not the stuff that it's just complaining about because it might be a few milliseconds slower than the rest which is really what I'm trying to figure out Yeah, I agree, Alan, yeah. Yeah, I agree yeah, about that, yeah. The slowness is a sign of future problems, I agree on that, yeah. Um, All I'm trying to say is, is um, I want to find the egg, the part of the drive on that other hard drive that's really bad, you know, that can't be read, so I can partition it out of the um, equation, so I can basically partition around it or even fix it or, you know, by writing a, a hidden system folder file to it where it will access or move that file in the future. Well, I can't do that if I've got a long list of potentially bad blocks which aren't actually bad. You know what I mean? It's a bit like you've got a rotten apple and somebody throws a, a, a whole pile of other brown apples in there amongst the bad apple, and you can't. And the the brown ones aren't bad, but you can't find a bad apple anymore because you've got too many brown ones. Yeah, remember I'm testing a, 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 a healthy drive right now. <laughs> well, according to smart status, it's healthy. Yeah, I agree. I agree that you can't fix a bad block because a bad block is basically like a hole in your sweater. You can't really fix it at all. You can go around it. Yeah, the original hard drives years ago. Yeah, that's it. That's just it. It's the reserves. It's running out of reserve blocks. Yeah, I agree on that. Yeah, that's all correct. Yeah, um, yeah. You look at this. It's showing. Show. This is a healthy hard drive. It's showing a block there as orange, right? Which is less than 500 milliseconds according to this graph up here. So orange is detected warm, which is less than 500 milliseconds. Well. 500 milliseconds is basically half um, half a second of access time. Uh, a thousand milliseconds is one second, and it's detecting one there. So, yeah, this program is a little bit overly conscious, uh, uh, overly, overly. Um, what's the word? Uh, I think it's paranoid. I think I'd, I'd say this program's paranoid actually. <laughs> <coughs> I need to find another tool. I need to find a tool that will map out the bad block to, without mapping out most of the drive just because it's a bit slow. That's what I'm trying to find right now. Um, so I've got this search box open. Um, 
you know what I, I really need to go on Google because I'm not finding the results I want I don't like going on Google but oh, oh hang on flipping heck Uh, keeps on taking me to google.co.uk right I'm on google.com now right uh, I want to I want to remap uh, map out actually I'll just take this out minute. map out bad blocks right oh it's all windows 7 I want XP stuff that's what I've already got that top one so I, oh, so this is really a predictive software program it's not really it's a predictive one which means it's it's overly cautious and that's why it's so paranoid that's the HD scan that's what I'm using right now what I want is something to map out the disc the real the actual bad discs that's bad blocks I mean um, Oh, I'll go to Tom's Hardware. I like Tom's Hardware. It's very good. So basically, this program I'm running right now, it's telling me that my health, my healthy hard drive, is also on its way out as well, which is a reason. I only just got this 500 gigabyte hard drive and it's already showing signs that that's going to fail as well. I just can't flip in win right now. Um, oh look it's coming up with some a lot of orange. That's not very reassuring. Um, oh, this internal software. Um, oh, a lot of that in another window. There might be some sys internal tool. I've got sys internals anyway, but there might be a tool. Um, oh yeah, I think I remember now. There is a. Oh, it's not even available that page. I think there was a tool for bad blocks, but it's very, very advanced. You've got to know code and stuff. Um, I'm not getting much luck here.
Well, XP is supposed to be mapping out the bad sectors, but it's not. It says there, uh, once the hard disk's built-in reserve of spare sectors is used up, it starts reporting the read-write errors into XP, which then maps out the bad sectors on its own, right? Well, it's not doing that. These are the bad sectors reported by check disk. If the hard disk gets to this point, it's pretty much doomed. Yeah, I know that, but I was just trying to buy some time. Uh, and it should be monitored closely and replaced. Yeah, well, I'm going to do that, but I just want to get rid of that bad block that's causing my blue screen of death. Because I can't do much on my other operating system when I keep getting blue screen of death all the time. Um... Okay, Alan. Uh, it's just annoying this. Uh, let's see. So that didn't help. That article didn't really help. I knew that. Um, I knew that XP is supposed to map them out, but it's not. Uh, well, actually, I'll try it. I'll try. Um, let's have a look at this. Well, I'm going to stop this because this is making me really paranoid right now. I'm scanning my healthy hard drive and it's, it's telling me that I've got areas that are very slow. I really don't want to know right now. <coughs> I've already got two failing hard drives. I don't need to know about a third one. When I when this probate money comes out comes through, I'm going to have to buy a whole stack of brand new hard drives. I think, and I'm not going to buy no cheap second-hand reconditioned stuff. Uh, right, so I'll minimise all this stuff. Um, what I'll do is. and get windows to fix this problem if I can. Well, I know the problem's on E, so tools, let's see. I need to um, right, I need to check all them boxes and Yeah, right, I'll click yes, so the next time I start the computer it's going to attempt to fix that drive. And we'll see if that can do it. Um, this program is not responding at the moment. must be creating the log file. Well, I don't want the log file right now. So while that's closing out I need to um, I'll just close my page as well silly me
Well, it didn't say it could fix it, so I'm not going to bother with that. any fixable fixing tools I think I'm going to move my partition information actually, that's another way of doing it. I just want the address of the bad block really, uh, the real bad block. Spin right. Oh my God! Please don't talk about spin right. Uh, you've got to pay for that. It's not very good anyway. I've used it before. <clears throat> Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on the other machine. Now, this flipping program, it still hasn't quit on me. Oh, go. Right, um... I'm going to go back on the other system after it's the tools run on on E, and I'm going to. I have got another program on the other system actually, which is installed, which I can probably use to try to see where that bad block is. Um, 
I need to get the address of the ba the actual real bad block so I can get them the address and partition it around it basically um, that's what I need to do so anyway I'm going to stop the stream uh, I'll be back a bit later